Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White and Annie coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be in 2 Romans, and this is the letter that Paul wrote to the, to the people at Rome. So, we're in the New Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, Chapter 2. Oh, and that's my canner. I'm canning up, um, I've got three pint quarts, three quarts of uh, split pea soup and two quarts of barbecue pork and two pints of barbecue pork. So that'll be done in about 20 minutes. So I figure I've got enough time. I've got enough time to do the scripture. So, chapter 2. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest. Remember, judge not. For wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest doeth the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things, and doeth the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness, and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth to repentance. But after thy hardness and impenitent impenit heart treasureth up thyself unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will render to every man according to his deeds now this is what God's going to render to them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for, uh, for glory and honor and immortality eternal life but unto them that are contentious are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first, and also of the Gentile or the Greek. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. He is going to use the same measuring stick against or for judgment against the Jew or the Gentile. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. Now this is an open parenthesis in verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. But the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law, these, having not the law, are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts, the meanwhile, or between themselves, while accusing 
or else excusing one another. Close parenthesis. Verse 16. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel, behold, thou art called a Jew, and restest in the law, and maketh thy boast of God, and knoweth his will, and approveth the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law. And art confident that thou thyself art a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes, which hath the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Thou therefore, which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal? Thou that saith a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? Thou that abhorrest idols, dost thou commit sacrilege? Thou that maketh boast of the law, through breaking the law dishonorest, by God. For the name of God is blasphemed against the gen among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. So, because of your actions, a Gentile will um, blaspheme you. That for the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written, because you're not doing as you're saying do. For circumcision verily profiteth, if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision, or has become uncircumcision. And, of course, you know, in the Old Testament, Moses was instructed to circumcise the male children. But when Christ came, it's circumcision of the heart. Verse 26. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, or righteous requirements, Shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature or physical, if it be fulfill, if it fulfill the law, or he fulfill the law, judge thee, who by the letter, even with your own written code. And circumcision doth transgress, should, t doth transgress the law. Let me read that, that verse 27 again. And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature or physical, if it fulfill or he fulfill the law, judge thee who by the letter or even with your written code and circumcision doth transgress the law? That's a question. Verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit and not in the letter, or the law, right? Whose praise, or um, 
literally praise is not of men but of God and I hope you can hear me over the canner it seems extremely loud to me but I tried to talk over it but if I play this back and I really can't hear or it sounds too annoying I will re-record this <laughs> And as always, I love you.